Hi, Steve Walker here from Promise Money. Um, if you're a homeowner, I've got some information for you. It's not about products today, it's more about ideas. Um, a lot of homeowners right now, it would seem, are going for home improvements rather than moving house. So if you're wondering what to do, that's the way the trend is going. Applications for home improvement loans are up 30% uh, on last year. Search volumes on Google for home improvements are up 59%. So you can see what people are doing. They're staying put. And there's a good reason to do so. Um, if you move house, you're going to have solicitor's costs. You're going to have estate agent's costs. You're going to have stamp duty, most probably. You're going to have moving costs and a right load of disruption. Um, by staying put, you avoid all of that. Um, and you can spend the money on the house, which is an opportunity to increase the value of the property, which makes it more saleable in the future and gives you the space you want. So a lot of people are going for loft conversions, uh, for extensions, um, obviously kitchens, that's more an aesthetic thing, but doing the kitchens up and even garden works to improve the gardens. So that's what's happening at the moment. If you're wondering how you can go about that, you've got a number of options. Well, obviously, if you've got the cash, that's great. Um, if you haven't, then you're probably going to be looking at financing. Unsecured loans are an option. Bear in mind, unsecured loans are designed for smaller amounts because they're and therefore they're over a shorter term. So five, ten, fifteen, maybe even twenty thousand pounds. You could do an unsecured loan, maybe a bit more. But remember, the repayment periods are often quite short. Therefore, it costs you more per month, so it increases your outgoings. You might want to do that at a time where you know we, we've already got increasing outgoings due to inflation. Um, the other option, secured loans or remortgages. Uh, the advantage of those is that you can take the loan and spread it over a longer term, potentially over the term of your mortgage, which means that your payments don't go up as much, which is good um, if you're in a situation where you don't want that to happen. You can't afford to, to pay an awful lot more. Um, now, bear in mind, by spreading the repayments over a longer term, you're paying interest for longer, but it still can be a good plan for some. And what a lot of people are doing, particularly with secured loans, because they're designed uh, very much with this in mind, is they're looking at, can I get my home improvements done and borrow X amount? And can I also consolidate a lot of my credit that I've got at the moment, which is a bit expensive, and reduce the cost of that credit down? And the effect of doing that is that by reducing your outgoings down and then borrowing more, you can sometimes keep your repayments similar to what you're paying at the moment. Of course, um, it's a strategy that you need to discuss with an advisor. Um, and one of the key reasons you need to discuss it is to make sure it's affordable and to make sure you understand the implications. Because again, uh, taking short term credit and consolidating it and secure it on your house, um, you're going to be paying it off for longer. But it is an option. So um, I would just say, uh, if that's something that, uh, that you're thinking about at the moment, do I move or do I improve? Um, you certainly won't be on your own if you decide to improve. A lot of people are doing it. Um, I hope you found that useful. Uh, if you'd like more information, please go to the website promisemoney.co.uk uh, and don't forget to subscribe to our videos and like them so that other people get to see them too. And hopefully tomorrow I'll have something a little bit more which is product based uh, and I can tell you about that. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.